Hello everybody and welcome back. In this video we're going to have a look at a fantastic but secret menu for differential that you can use for not just ailerons but for the rudder on a V-tail model. I say it's secret because it's built in as part of Jetty software and yet it's not labelled as a differential menu and if you don't know what it is, you'll never find it. But I will show you how easy it is to use it. And the good thing is, you can tune it whilst you're in flight, and you can even set it to go from negative to positive differential, all on the same tuning knob. So, let's go in and have a look. I've got a simple model set up, and if we take a little look in it, we can see that we just have aileron and the two elevator servos of a V-tail. Now, that's what we're going to concentrate on, just to prove that it works with a V-tail. But as I say, it's exactly the same for an aileron. And if I move the rudder stick, you can see there it goes. Now, Jetty defaults to 50% elevator, 50% rudder on a V-tail. I've just boosted that up to 80% to make it clearer when we start putting in differential. And may I say, would you please like and subscribe to the video? Yes, I know everybody on YouTube says that, but it does help. And if you feel you've really been helped by my videos, then there is a link in the description box below where you could PayPal me a donation to my espresso and chocolate biscuit fund to keep me awake to keep doing these videos. Anyway, on with today's story. Let's have a look. Of course, if you have ailerons, uh, two of them, and I haven't in this particular model, but there, there would be then aileron differential in this menu. Why not use that? Well, the snag with the aileron differential menu is that. Not only does it decrease the travel of the downgoing aileron, but it increases the travel of the upgoing aileron, which is not what we want. And of course, you can't use it on the rudder of a V-tail. But there is a disguised menu that will do exactly what we want. You're looking right at it. Yep, it's the dual rate menu. Can you see it yet? Is it obvious? No. And yet, in here, we can do exactly what we want. We can put in differential that is uh, tunable by one of the rotary knobs and can even go from negative to positive differential. So let's have a look. If we come down here, the first thing we're going to do is allocate the switch. And that, for me, is going to be P8. So I'll go in there. Rotate P8. It comes on as a three position switch, so we change it to proportional. Say OK to that. And we'll come across here and switch on the proportional effect of it. In the next line down, it defaults to symmetric dual rate switched on. And that's important. Don't switch that off, otherwise, this won't work. As long as symmetric DR is switched on, that's fine. Right, now that we've got our switch as P8, let's rotate it, but look at what happens here. At the moment, we're in position two. And I think I've got center beep turned on, so if I turn up the volume. No, I haven't. But anyway, there's the knob at center, position two. If I turn it fully anti-clockwise, position one, then clockwise position 2, and fully clockwise position 3. And we can set an asymmetric rate for each of those positions, and it will work out as differential. Okay, so uh, let's say I want fully anti-clockwise to be no differential effect, so I will leave those as 100%. I'll open them up, you know, turn off the volume there, so you don't get all the beeping. And importantly here, I want symmetry to be switched off. So I'm switching off symmetry. Now, 
all that will happen when I do this is that one side of the curve will move. So position one, 100%. I'll put the knob at position three, which is the value I want maximum differential for. And I'll turn that down, let's say to 50%. Now, you and I normally looking at this would say, oh well, on moving left rudder down here, both rudders will move 50%. And on moving right rudder, both rudders will move 100%. But because we've got the symmetric DR on, that's not what happens. Let's take a look in here, in the servo monitor. Remember, three and four are rudders. I'll move rudder left. See how the left one is half the value of the right one. Now I'll move to the right. And the right one is half the value of the left one. So we've got differential straight away. Let's go back in and really set this up. Because the values won't go all the way nicely. As I rotate the knob back towards the middle, it jumps back to 100. So basically, the differential control will only be in the right hand half of the knobs turning. So what we do is put it in position two and take the rate to halfway between what, position one and position three, which in this case is 75%. So pop it there and now see the curve moves smoothly all the way from fully anti-clockwise to fully clockwise. I'll turn it there so it's off. Let's look in here. If I move the rudder, differential is off, so both of them move the same. But if I turn the differential up, here we go. See how just that one is affected throughout the entire range of the tuning knob. And if we go left, again, it's only inner one that's affected. There we are. What happens, though, if it's not the inner one that you want reduced, but you want the outer one to be reduced? Well, in that case, leave this side at 100, come across here and change the values of that one. And then it would be the other one that gets reduced. So very importantly here, one side is being reduced. It's not increasing the travel of the other side. And we've got it fully tunable on a knob. Now, I said you could go from negative to positive differential in the same system. Right, well, that's easy. We put position three here at, uh, where are we? No, so position one. I'll turn that up to the maximum 125%. That's all that the dual rates allow, but that at least will give you some sort of opposite version of differential. I'll put the knob to the middle and I'll change that to be 100% in position two and then position three is still down at 50. So it will go from 50% with the knob fully clockwise, no differential with the knob in the middle, and opposite version differential with the knob fully anti-clockwise. We'll put it back in the middle and prove it. Let's have a look at servo monitor. Move the rudder all the way. There we go. Oops. And now differential on the inside. So that's left rudder, right rudder. Bring it back to middle. And now we'll swing the knob back to the middle so there's no differential. And I'll move it the other way. And now we get even more. So we can go from less travel on the inside, because I'm holding left rudder, same travel, both sides, 
more travel on the inside. And of course it works beautifully as we come across here. More travel on the inside, same travel, less travel on the inside. And that's it. So it works just as beautifully for aileron. If you still need dual rates, then it can be done. You just have to do it through a flight mode because then you can set your dual rate to be flight mode specific or flight mode separate, I should say, rather than global. And then you get a whole new set here. Of, you can use a different knob, same knob, no tuning knob, and set your rates then. Okay, I hope that's of use to you.